I've got, got too much in my hand. No, you got too much? So the family and I are in Nashville, Tennessee. We just wrapped up over at ICCC, and while in town, I wanted to poke back in over at Totally Rad Toy House. Now, I first visited this awesome toy store a few years ago, but they have moved and are in a new location now, so seems like a pretty good excuse to go find some new toys. Man, I love the aesthetic of this store. The bright colors, the slime painted on the walls, the portraits of action figures on the windows. It is absolutely perfect. I love it. All right, where to start, where to start? Well, there are a lot of baggied loose action figures hanging on pegs on the walls, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Let's dig through those. Let's see what we can find. What is this guy? Rock'em Sock'em from Mattel? Those are definitely dinosaurs. I love this toy. Oh. It's like a battle cat. Ish. Battle cat ish. Well, that didn't take long. These are amazing. These beasts right here come from a line called Dragons, Knights, and Daggers by a company named Imperial. And it's very possible you've seen some of these beasts around in your hunts before. Uh, Imperial made a lot of these beast type things, but they are totally made to fit your Masters of the Universe or your other similar styled action figures. I love these. They've got the saddles. I am definitely buying these today, so. I've already found something I want. Pretty good start to the day. While we're over here, we'll go ahead and just check through the Masters of the Universe section. There's a lot of baggy loose figures. Nothing here that I specifically need. Of course, I've got a lot of this stuff at this point. I do, however, spy the monogram model kits for both the Rotan and the Talon Fighter, and they're both sealed. I just recently finally got that Talon Fighter, but seeing these again is pretty awesome. Oh, I found a whole section of baggied Power Rangers figures. I do always love flipping through the Power Rangers just to see if there's anything that stands out. I really specifically love a lot of those evil space mutants. I think a lot of the bad guys are a lot of fun for the Power Rangers line. And above those loose figures, there's a whole bunch of carded ones here. And I actually see a lot of these baddies that I really like. I will probably end up walking out of here with at least one of these today. So definitely keeping this in mind. Oh, there's a pretty good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle section here in the shop as well. Again, a lot of baggied figures, but what I like here is that there's a really good variety. It's not just figures from the vintage line, but also from the 2K3 line, from the 2007 CG movie, even some modern figures, and they're all just kind of mixed in here. So there's a lot of good stuff if you're digging through. Also, there's a whole bunch of carded figures from that 2K3 line, which is awesome. I feel like I'm running into these a bit more often lately, but still, it's a really fantastic line. It doesn't get looked at enough these days because there's just been so much awesome TMNT out there. So I do really love seeing all of these carded figures for that line here in the shop. Speaking of TMNT, oh my goodness, I am in love with this vintage shooting gallery game. Are you kidding me? Fire rapid action metal balls? Well, sign me up. <laughs> I love the weirdo merchandise like this. I don't actually have a lot of merchandise for TMNT. I collect a lot of it for Motu, uh, but this one is really cool. I mean, this is something that I would strongly consider. It's a bit pricey, but understandable. A lot of that merchandise is a bit harder to find. I do really like this though. Now this particular case actually does have a lot of really nice kind of random items in here like this, the dragon from Remco's Crystar line. Crystar! The saga 
area of Crystar, a fantasy world of crystal warriors, demons, and wizards. Good wizards like OGOD, evil wizards like Sardeth, and underworld demons like Moltar. They've captured OGOD! Each figure with a crystal prism that makes everything look like this. Witness and might, evil and might, the winner is up to you! The Saga of Crystar Collection. Each figure sold separately by Remco. Crystar is a line that I really love. I mean, come on, it's got a bunch of translucent figures in it. How can you not love it? Uh, the dragon here is something that I do have at home, so I don't need this one, but I really like running into it like this because it's a pretty obscure toy. There's some other really cool stuff just kind of scattered throughout this case as well. Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa, Wheeled Warriors, Dino Riders, Computer Warriors, and hey, Mega Force. Man, what a wonderful batch of weirdo toy lines all in this case together. I love it. What'd you find? Yeah, a whole bunch of them. You making a pile? I do. <laughs> I love it. But they've got wrestler yeah, Wrestlers? Yeah. Show me. Uh oh. It looks like Stina might have hit the jackpot in this store. Oh, that's amazing. Mommy, open yeah. it. Isn't that cool? Get get this one. Get that one. He's got a Mickey championship belt. It's got Mickey heads oh, on it. I didn't realize it had a Mickey head on it. I am honestly so happy for her. I mean, she really did stumble upon a nice little jackpot here. If you guys have been watching these toy hunts, whenever Steen is with me, this is what she's looking for. She really loves the Disney Parks Vinylmation figures. Um, and she's really been collecting a lot of those and just seeing what she can find. And there's a really great selection of them here. A whole bunch of them, in fact. So that's great. I mean, I told her, I encouraged her. I was like, you need to grab these because how often do we find this many of them in one place? You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. We found a we found a good place for you. Yeah, they they, <laughs> what I like. they have what you like. I've got, got too much in my hand. No, you got too much. I think. Steal one of my shelves. Shelf. Great. You bought two. That's true. I did buy two. Okay. The room that she found these vinyl masons in is actually a really great room here at the store as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is where like all the Disney stuff, the plush, the girls lines, the dolls, lots of really cool stuff in here. I mean, the room is so colorful and bright and vibrant and there's a lot of nostalgia in here. Um, so it was a lot of fun just looking through this room as well. And that's one thing I really like about this store is it's kind of sectioned off. Like you've got like this big main room that you walk in and then you walk a little further and suddenly you find this very colorful room with all the dolls and plush. And then there's even another room in the back of the store crammed with even more items. Now this particular room looks like it's got a bunch of superhero figures from Marvel and that's vintage and Marvel Legends. There's a bunch of DC stuff in here as well. I also noticed there's a lot of modern toy lines in here. So things like Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, uh, Mythic Legions, if you're a collector of a lot of that modern stuff, Hot Toys, some of those higher end things. They've got a lot of that crammed in here as well, which is awesome to see. Oh, and there's some more TMNT hidden back here. I see a vintage carded wing nut on one of the later card backs. And in their display case, they've got a bunch of loose NECA TMNT figures. Man, every time I see these all displayed like this, it makes me realize just how incredible this line looks. It displays so, so well. Uh -oh. Everybody freeze! <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! <laughs>
I can't leave the store without checking out the G.I. Joes, right? I gotta at least see what they have. And they've got some pretty cool stuff up here. Now look, I know that I'm not gonna be collecting vehicles because for space reasons, I just don't have room for G.I. Joe vehicles. But with that being said, this particular one right here, the Earthquake, it's pretty rad. I mean, the boxes here and just look at all that beautiful neon plastic. Oh yeah. So I'm flipping through all of the baggy Joes on the walls. I'm just kind of thumbing through them to see if anything leaps out at me as something that looks cool or something that I know has been on my list to find. And there are some cool character choices in here. Also, there's a whole bunch of Coors figures from Lannard, and those definitely hit a nostalgia button for me as well because I had several of those as a kid. But then something really stands out to me. Look at all that super shiny vac metal. So these are black major versions of the snake armor from G.I. Joe. If you're not familiar with black major, um, it's like an independent third party producer. So these are unlicensed toys, but they look so cool. It's this beautiful shiny vac metal of the snake armor in multiple different colors. I definitely think I'm going to be leaving here with one of these. These look slick. Okay, Christmas, Christmas time, it's here time for toys and time for toys. Oh, man! Perfect. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, I think we are gonna wrap up our time at Totally Rad Toy House, but man, this is a really great store. There is a lot of really good vintage stuff in here, especially if you're a loose collector, because there's a lot of things to dig through and a lot of stuff to find. Really cool store location as well. I love the layout and like I said, the overall aesthetic in here, plus the staff top-notch, really great people who were very helpful. We had some great conversations. So if you're ever in the Nashville area, definitely head on over to Totally Rad Toy House. Make sure you let them know you saw them here on Pixel Dan's channel. And with that being said, my friends, here's today's toy haul. Well, we're going to definitely start off with Christina's haul because she really cleaned up with the Disney Vinylmation figures. She got nine loose figures and six boxed figures and there are some really cool ones in here. Uh, per personally, I really love the Tomorrowland astronauts and this little pro wrestling guy with a Mickey themed championship belt. Really good haul here. And if this was a contest, Stina definitely would have won the toy hunt today. <laughs> so I ended up picking up that Power Rangers Snizzard. I've always loved Snizzard, loved the snake themed guys, wanted to get this one for a while. I grabbed them on card because the card was beat up, so I figured this would be a good opener, but then I opened him and I ran into a few issues. First of all, this gold plastic that he's made of just did not age well. It is covered in a film that was leaving like this orangish dust all over my hands. And on top of that, the tail was snapped clean off in the box. So a little bit of glue later and a lot of wiping the figure down, he does look a lot better, but there's something about that vintage gold plastic. It just does not hold up well. So we'll see how he lasts. I did grab the silver version of the black major chrome snake armor, which again is so cool. It's so well made, it's so shiny. I really love this. It's fun just putting it on some of the random Joes that I already have. And uh, I kind of wish I would have grabbed the other colors. That's how much I like this. And finally, I got the Sabretooth Serpent and the Battle Beast from the Dragons, Knights, and Daggers line by Imperial. I really adore these. I'm so happy that they have their saddles. Now some of my many knockoff figures can ride their own beasts into battle. Guys, thank you so very much for joining me for another episode of Toy Hunting with Pixel Dan. I really hope you guys have been enjoying these videos because I've been having an absolute blast making them. Uh, I always love hearing from shops that people discover the shops from these videos. So if this does get you to go check out some of these stores, please let them know where you found out about them. Uh, I love shining a light on these smaller indie toy shops. It really does make this a whole lot of fun. This is a community effort community effort we all got to look out for each other out there so go out there find some cool small shops do some toy hunting and until next time my friends